Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are on part five and the final uh, part to this series for our December dailies. I really hope you guys didn't mind me going ahead and jumping ahead. I know a lot of people get really upset when you bring up Christmas too soon, uh, but I just, my thinking is I wanted to get this out in time so for any of you that were interested in making one for yourself I wanted to be sure that it was early enough that you got time to do it so I, I hope you guys didn't mind uh, me going ahead and jumping ahead with this um, okay guys we are on to the cover um, and what I have done is I've gone ahead and kind of pieced together what I think is going to look nice and I have not sewn it together because I wanted to show you in pieces. Um, this, in my mind, is going to go over. It's going to wrap over the the spine, uh, and I can't show you that because obviously it's not all been stitched. So what what is what what have I done here? Okay, I've got some of the blue coordinating. It's not the same fabric, but it's the same shades um, that you can see. I've got some red. I've got two bits of, this is uh, a fabric, my friend who, um, she's a seamstress, uh, when she alters wedding gowns, she keeps all of the scraps for me. So I've got that bit, and then I've got some red here, and I thought it would be really fun just to, to just mix this up. I'm going to run this through and stitch it, and then... I'm going to somewhat center that. I don't want this to be too exact because I want it to have a real uh, rustic look to it. And then I thought it might be nice to to put these three and then we'll come back and I'll show you um, what we're going to do in addition to this. Okay, so I'm going to take this to the machine and I'm just going to kind of up and down multiple times and then I'll show you after I've completed that. Okay guys, that's how it's come out. And so now I can show you how that's going to look. Let me get that glued down. And I really like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on and let that Okay. Oh boy. glue on that because I want to make sure this is adhered really, really well. Okay. So now I'm just going to center that. and snug on that spine. Okay, and the other thing I've decided is I took Mrs. Cog's uh, Christmas sayings and I just <coughs> put four to a, um, a page so that it came out with a really small. And then I've distressed around the edges and I'm going to glue that inside this uh, Tim Holtz book plate. And this is just some of the art glitter glue, but I'm going to put it down with um, Fabri-Tac. But just to get this on there, I'm going to use that. Okay. 
and get a couple of brads. So with these book plates, it's always better if you can put them through your cover, but often you don't know what you're going to do on the cover until you get to this point. So I'm going to show you guys what I do, because it is it is better if you can put it through with the brad and glue. Uh, just, you know, just gives it that extra bit, but because I'm at this point now. I'm just going to glue it down with um, Fabri-Tac. But just make sure you've got the brads positioned so they're not going to show. That's the hardest part about doing it this way. So now, and at this point, just let it sit before you start moving it too much. Okay. I got that straight because <laughs> I'm terrible about that glue and stuff on crooked. And those book plates aren't always, um, sometimes they're a little bit bent, so this is why. Yeah, I can see it. I have that straight. Okay, so now you might have to hold it on the top and the bottom just to make sure you got it adhered really, really well. I like that because it's the angel and it's Hark the Herald Angel Sings. I thought that was really sweet. Now, I could. I was thinking about doing like a um, embroidery thread cross on it, but because it's blue, uh, I'm actually fine with it. If you wanted, you could add some buttons, but I didn't want to do that because I'm afraid it's going to take away from the book plate. So I'm, I'm actually really happy with how this came out. It's, um, so, um, this was what I had intended with some of these that I've sold in the shop, and these are still in there. Um, this was what I was going to do, but then I, I just decided I wanted to do hours different to uh, what I've got for sale in the shop. So, Okay, guys, that is it. We have finished this project. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope it's inspired you to get your Christmas things out and start getting ready. These are make great gifts for family and friends. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that, um, and I'll be back very soon with some more ideas. Take care.